boss of this level, old Tricky Dick himself. Oh man, I gotta, I get them all Nixon in the dick. Yes, you I do. Get them all Nixon in the dick. Everybody, watch me. Alex, how excited are you? Nah, I can't do word. Socks. Why even? Why even bother with explanations or intros? This you is Socks it. the Cat. Alex, play Socks the Cat. <laughs> this I is going to be the first time Alex. Years. This is going to be the first time Alex sees this. I have some experience with Socks the Cat. I kind okay, of played it until one a.m. last night in preparation for this stream. So hopefully we'll get to see a good amount of this game. This is mascot platformer history right here, folks. Look at him! Look at him! There he is. My buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. Alex I'm... is already squeaking all over the place. Oh yeah, it's. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, they had a website. Amazing. Oh, no. Yep, these are the other people who finished up Socks the Cat. Uh, we'll get into that. There's a lot to be said about this game, as you might imagine. First of all, just an overview. Socks the Cat was the family cat of the Clinton family when they were in the White House in the, uh, the 90s. What was it, 92 through 98 or something? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, until uh, 2000. Yeah, that's right. Two terms, Socks the Cat lives there. I love Socks. Mm-hmm. And it turns out at some point, Japanese publisher Kaneko wanted to make a video game about him. Yeah, Kitty Paw. He's got to start options. Mm-hmm. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> yeah, Look at that! I really like that animation. It's good. Easy, thank you. So this game was previewed in several magazines. Nintendo Power gave it a somewhat glowing review, I guess. <laughs> GamePro and EGM also reviewed it, so it was thought for many years that review copies existed, though no one really knew how complete it was. Several years back, there was a prototype discovered, and nothing happened with it. Nope. Until today. This is Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill. Here we go. I have waited. I have, I have been wanting this game since... I was a Sox fan as a child, and this is this game is my dream. And then around uh, 2001, 2002, I got into unreleased games, and this was like the one game I read about where I was like, I have to have this! I want mm -hmm. this! I need this! This and Bioforce Ape were the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. And now... Yep, this there is it. Go. Where do we go from here? I don't think there's any other unreleased game that really matches up to this game. Yeah, yeah, be this eye. <laughs> okay, maybe that game. <laughs> Socks was looking up like, what? Hold on, hold on. That's a bigger deal than me being missing, buddy. Oh, there's Socks. Foreign fur follies. <laughs> All right, I'm not looking at Chad, so Danny, you have to be in charge. Oh my god, okay, so I run. Mm-hmm. A button is run, B button is jump, uh, Y button is swipe. You can also duck and swipe. That's how I heard Oh yeah, and the run button is your item. Oh, I died! Yeah, you get nine lives, as in Bubsy. Though, once you lose them all, you get taken to the continue screen. That's all the lives you get. Okay. I don't, I don't like the... Oh, this plays like shit, but I was expecting that. <laughs> hey, I wasn't expecting this to play well. It's too early to pass judgment on Socks the Cat. He's God just... damn, I've already lost, like, a lot of lives. Can I go in the... No. No, you dumb... Okay, that's you cool. You can also jump on enemies. You have to hold down oh. in midair. Ah, oh, I can say it, so it's a butt bounce. The old butt bounce, yeah. Oh, come on, you Socks! Were... For waiting 20 years for this, I thought you'd be better prepared. <laughs> no, absolutely not! I got a fish. Down to four lives. Oh. Jesus! Yep. This is Alex's live, unfiltered reaction to seeing Socks the Cat for the first time. I don't like the way that this is our new series, scrolls. Alex Reacts, where we discover undumped <laughs> prototypes and then sit Alex in front of him. And then he like screams shit like, ah, it's his diarrhea or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna let you uh, flail around at this part for a while because it had me stuck too. Oh, a hidden area! Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Here are the presidents! Oh, I see. I have to fix the dates, I think. 
You found something that I didn't find in the game. I played this game for five hours yesterday, Alex. <laughs> You've been playing for ten seconds and already you found this. There's nothing like this in the rest of the game. That wrong. I got wrong! Alright, so they quiz you on the presidents uh, in this one hidden area and nowhere else in the entire game, I guess. Well, they might know elsewhere. Could but... be. I mean, if there's other hidden rooms, you'll find them. Obviously, I didn't. Someone's talking shit on my my sock <laughs> skills, and yet here I am! Yeah, here you are, making new discoveries. Alright, so Socks the Cat rocks the hill. As we mentioned, Kaneko published, or was set to publish this game in the mid-90s for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. For development, they contracted that out to Real-Time Associates. Oh, that explains a lot. Who we've covered on Mascot Friday before, a few times. They developed games like Normie's Beach Babel Rama, Bug for Sega Saturn, Iron Man and Exo Manowar in Heavy Metal for Sega Saturn, and like and Ah Real Monsters. Those are all so yeah, shitty to decent. Yeah, a shitty to decent developer put in charge of a fairly unusual license because what made this game so desirable is that it's not just an unreleased prototype; it's a part of American history. You can argue, mm -hmm. and one of the few games that you can say that about. This is a game that features many U.S. presidents in antagonistic roles. You get to kill them, <laughs> in addition to these many rats. Wait, wait, so I get to kill Harry Truman? I don't think... Well, he was in that last room, so maybe. Oh my god. Yeah, this game is famous for being a uh, planned political parody. It was gonna take the piss, as they say, out of uh, American politics at the time. Oh, I can switch where the Yui is. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Say the heads up display, whatever. By the way, we should mention uh, we're only discussing politics as it relates to this game. Yes, so uh, keep it in the nineties. Yes, yes, please do not anything talk about modern stuff. Anything recent does not stuff. apply to Socks the Cat. Anything twenty sixteen on, we will not engage because I'm too depressed about it. <laughs> we all are. This is a better time, Socks. Bill Clinton was in office. He played the saxophone on Arsenio Hall. Remember? And Socks was there. Okay, this is... I'm stuck. Go back to where you were. Okay. There's some fairly unusual stuff in this game that it doesn't really tear you, tell you about. Okay, it's one of those games. You. I appreciate it. Now I did find I... that hidden area, though. You did! Uh, you got that on me. Now, how I got up here was by using those platforms on the left. You gotta run and jump. That's but what I, I was doing! But I'm seeing now that there's actually something else that they intended for you to do. You see those uh, scraps up there on the ceiling? Uh-huh. You can actually wall cling to them if you hit jump in midair. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a mechanic that's barely explained at all, oh, and geez. you need to use it in level two. You can get to pa you can get past this part through some clever running and jumping, but yeah, that's okay. the that's the intended way. Ah, uh, this controls like a garbage pile, but here's the problem. You all know me, I love cats, and if you put a cat in your game, even if it's a garbage game, I will probably like it. I'm so sorry, everybody. Mm -hmm. There, you got it. You're moving on. You got two lives, that's all you need. Oh, Those yellow fish give you an extra life. Oh, uh, luckily, you. there's a lot of them hey! in the early parts of the game. This guy bombs. I don't like the way he looks. I don't like the way he looks. Game like over. You got two credits though. Okay, that's cool. I do like I do like that animation there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I now know. here's the thing about this game. Uh, uh -huh. It's it's been known for a while that this prototype existed. It was bought for an obscene amount of money, and over the last decade, people have been trying to turn it into a money-making scheme and failing. <laughs> it wasn't until last year, or was it the year before even? I, I think say it, was, it was the year before. I think it was the year before, yeah, that someone put this on Kickstarter. They said they had the ROM, they were going to finish it up, whatever that means, and put it on cartridge and release it to people. They offered the cartridge for sale, and they also offered a digital version which still hasn't been released yet because they released the cartridge to people who bought that okay, and, then, right this time. and then several months passed and someone finally dumped the ROM earlier this week. <laughs> Good old Ron Reagan. <sighs> okay, this looks right. Now what I'm wondering is how much of this game is the original prototype and how much did they add to it for the final release? Oh, you gotta continue there. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
because after playing through the whole thing, I'm left very confused, uh, wondering... In fact, I'm almost positive that most of this game did not exist in the early prototype. A lot of it looks like it was made after the fact to flesh out the game. Which isn't necessarily bad, but there are some things they should have spent more time on if they were going to do that, instead of just adding levels. You'll see. Yeah, you're doing better this time. You got yeah. eight lives. Yeah, sorry for not checking chat. I... I am all, I am, I am experiencing history as it happens, baby. Hey! Abby reveals that Ronald Reagan starred in a film called Brother Rat. He also starred in Bedtime for Bonzo. Bedtime for Bonzo! And several other movies featuring Bonzo the monkey. He was an actor who appeared in monkey movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why uh, everyone's mom and dad were weirded out when they found out Reagan was president in the 80s. They're like, the monkey movie guy? Really? As it turns out, he did have political experience. He had he held previous office, and he won the election. <laughs> now, most of the political references in this game take place between the 70s and the 80s, and some 90s stuff. Just sure. discovering all these hidden areas, no biggie. Yeah, I've never found that one either. There's more to this game than I thought. Let's start off with the positives, alright? So... The graphics are great. Socks the Cat looks amazing. He Socks has, looks great. He has Socks lots of really great. good animations. There's also lots of interstitial animations between the levels, a la Miss Pac-Man, sort of like these wordless skits that they do. It's nice. I get the feeling that wasn't in the original game at all, but it's nice that they added him. Honestly, I really want to see that unmodified ROM. This release just makes me so curious about how much was original and how much was later added. See that guy just kind of to me? Yeah. Hey, you did it! Oh, I did it! Now you get ready to fight the first boss, Ross Perot. <laughs> Why isn't he fighting me with, like, a... I guess that stick is his PowerPoint presentation stick, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what it was all about. Ross Perot was a dark horse candidate in the U.S. presidency for a couple of elections. He was basically only there because he had a ton of money. Luckily, that tactic never works. Oh my god, I somehow you did, did it. it! You beat Ross Perot, he's dead. He exploded. <laughs> and yeah, there are direct references to U.S. political figures in this game, like ex-presidents. Uh, not even presidents, just people involved in the I don't like the this enemy's design, I'm just gonna say it. Well, he appears a lot in this game. Well, they sh <laughs> he looks like garbage, sorry. You got one more continue. Okay. Oh no, wait, you picked up an extra. Ha! <laughs> you shit, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, he did, yeah, Ross Pro did buy a lot of TV time. Mm-hmm. He had the cash. I think he was oh, a Texan, too, so wasn't he? Oh, God. He should have won. No, he shouldn't have. All right, I'm just gonna do this. Texans make the best presidents, Alex. Danny, you're just saying things purposely to infuriate our audience. <laughs> gonna run into every enemy. All right, other good things. Uh, you'll notice there the path branched up there. Uh, from what I played most of this game's levels, they have branching paths. Uh, that's not to say they crisscross and uh, mix with each other. And Like in Sonic, it's more like, hey, here's a point in the level where you pick one path or the other. And they meet up at the end, but they don't really crisscross or anything. You have to really, like, pound on the, the jump button. Yeah, that mechanic doesn't feel very fleshed out, Get or, out of here. or even intended. I'm trying to think of other good things to say about this. Uh, it's fairly playable, at least for the first few levels. <laughs> Sorry. <I> God! <laughs> it's infuriating Alex, so that's a good thing. That's always funny. <laughs> that's always All quality right. content. So here's the part you'll get stuck on if you don't know about this, because you need to use this mechanic to cross this pit. There you go. Socks is dead. Again. Yeah, Socks is dead in real life. Yeah, the real Socks, unfortunately, has passed. Socks lived a long, healthy life. Unfortunately, never got to see the release of his game. He never got to see themselves in game form. Yeah. Oh, I like this move. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Plus, you can creep along the ground. He looks sufficiently cat-like. He looks like a nice little animated cat. As far as mascots go, he's pretty well-defined. 
but the game itself, that's another thing. Uh, Alex has noticed already that this does not control well. No. I get the feeling it uses the mechanics that were in the original prototype and barely managed to update them, if at all, because they feel extremely unpolished. Which kind of stands in contrast with the rest of the game, because it's a very, very long game. There's many, many levels in this game. And the thing about prototypes is, when the gameplay is this unpolished, typically there's not many levels done. You don't see much of the game yet, because they focus on fixing up the controls before adding levels and stuff. Not them! Not the case in this game. Yeah, they just kept the mechanics and added a whole bunch of levels, I guess to uh, make it seem like a good buy on Kickstarter. Be like, 16 levels. It'll take you forever to beat. I was honestly surprised how long this game was. I did not expect it to go on as long as it did. There's seriously like 12 to 16 levels, by my estimation. Also gotta note that the mouse you picked up for invincibility, there are rats. Rats are big, they are humanoid. Mice never evolved, I guess. No. <laughs> Different species. So this is like a tie-in with capital critters? I think so, yeah. Nice. This very well could have been a Capital Critters game. Oh yeah, that sound effect was Steam. Uh, there's a few sound effects in this game that sound like glitches, but that's normal. Not all of them are, are as obscenely loud as that one, sorry. Uh, well, yeah, let me know if I need to uh, adjust the volume. No, the volume's mostly fine, it's just a few sound effects that are loud. Okay, cool. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Yes, Rambler, the SNES had Steam support. <laughs> God bless you, chat. You're doing pretty well. Thank I was you. brutalized for this game for a while before I learned how it controlled. I've uh, waited my whole, a long portion of my life to play this, so goddamn, I am going to do it right. You were just right. sitting there with a the controller imagining what it would be like to play this? Yes, imagining <laughs> what it would be like if I were Socks a Cat. <laughs> I just like how animated he is. They, oh it is easily the best thing about the game, the sock sprite. It, it is great. And the enemies... As a socks head myself, I love it. <laughs> the enemies aren't as detailed, but they still look okay. They fit the style. Alright, boss of this level, old Tricky Dick himself. Oh man, I get, a, I get a Mall Nixon in the dick! Yes, you do. I get a Mall Nixon in the dick! Everybody watch me! He's not a crook, but... His Thanks dick... for Title Mind and nothing else, baby! <laughs> His dick is in shreds now. I died trying to kill Nixon. <laughs> oh no! Oh, socks. <laughs> socks. Come back to us, Socks. Well, there you go. There's a few credits playthrough of Socks the Cat. Yeah, as, oh, as Alex that showed... That was wonderful! As Alex showed, actually a pretty difficult game starting out, and it does not get easier from there. <laughs> he threw... He was throwing Watergate tapes at you, by the way! He was. He was. There's a lot of fun little details in this game like that. <sighs> it's dumb as fuck, I love it. Okay, so, so you have something to show us, don't you, Danny? I certainly do. <laughs> so, I figured y'all would want to see the rest of the stuff in this game. All the wacky stuff all the bosses, and I took the liberty of making save states for every single level. This took me until 1 a.m. last night. If you look at the uh, timestamps on these, you can see uh, just how long I spent on this. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Danny was up really late. <laughs> Let's get back to old Richard Nixon. We won't have him to kick around anymore. We won't have him to maul in the dick anymore. <laughs> The thing about this game is the bosses have different invincibility times. Some of them, they are invincible for a really long time and it makes the fights really hard, while Nixon, his invincibility time is real short. <laughs> Idiot. And for those bosses, you can really easily take them out. We just murdered Nixon, that mm -hmm. fucking owns. And Ross Perot. Do we get to kill Reagan? Don't spoil it. No okay, spoilers. okay, I hope. <laughs> Here's one of those interstitials I was talking about. Yeah, I get the feeling they just kind of clutch those in at the last minute using existing assets, but still, nice addition. Breaks things up. This might be my favorite level in the game. Who are you killing, just paparazzi? Yes. Eat shit, press core. 
Now, as it turns out, no. Sock the Cat is not a fan. Of <laughs> okay, okay, but look at that. He's not a fan of protesters. <laughs> Whatever. And then it says, oof. Fucking socks. <laughs> I like how that person has a no sign through no. Yeah, it's crossed out no, it's a double negative. These, I know, these characters were seen in the Nintendo Power screen. Yeah, those, so, those, those are definitely from the so original. So these exist in the original game. It's just fun to play through this and try and spot what was added. Oh man, I keep meaning to have Sox get a, get a picture taken, because he gets stunned for a while. Sox hates the First Amendment, I guess. He hates protesters. He does, he's like, fuck this. He's all for giving rats what they want, though. Like those... <sighs> yeah, there's just something about those guys, isn't there? You're looking at it and you're like, is, is this supposed to be an offensive stereotype? Because it looks <laughs> like... You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't... They could have They could have worked on that. Maybe, maybe the nose is less racist. I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, this guy's gonna take a picture of me. There you go. Okay, that stunned animation is cute as hell. Mm hmm and again, just the sock sprite, I can say nothing bad about it. That is where all the effort went. By the way, these levels, the outside levels that take place on these marble steps, I guess, these are the exception to the branching paths rule. These levels are just straightforward. Goes Nixon. There goes Reagan! <laughs> Thanks. Oh, he got blowed up. Uh, actually, I can speak from experience that I don't think any of the enemies here are a 90s lesbian butch aesthetic. <laughs> One of those protesters, maybe, but it seemed more like just negative stereotype of protester than actually, yeah. yeah. Source? Group? My mom was a butch lesbian in the 90s! So. That's, a pretty, that's a pretty good source. Yeah, source, that was my life. Where are you? Uh, I'm in the place where they print money. Oh, so you're at the, the mint then? Yes. Okay. Later on, you'll see the places where they dye the money. It's mm -hmm. like a uh, toxic waste pit. Yeah, it's a shame terms that of... they murder money. <laughs> yeah. This is where money goes to die. On Kickstarter. <laughs> Hopefully by now you get an impression of what this game's like. Uh, just to sum it up, average platformer. Unfortunately, gameplay-wise, there isn't much here that's super inventive. But this is classic stuff. You're going over uh, what looks like sewage. It's not sewage, there is a separate <laughs> sewer level, I should note. Because of course there is. I should also note this game does not run at 60 frames per second. Aww. That's not uh, obvious on our stream, but no, it if, you not. if you play it, it's uh, it's not the usual 60 FPS that Super Nintendo games are. People are calling this the Gak Arena. Yeah. <laughs> this is where they transport Gak across America. Yeah, Nickelodeon was a big part of uh, helping with America's 90s Gak economy. Mm -hmm. We had uh, faucets installed that would spray out Gak. Yeah, it was part of the NAFTA deal. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I could just if I should just skip to the bosses already because there's some of them that's that are gonna blow you away. I think we should. I I kind I feel really bad. I kind of want to skip to the bosses because I really want to see a bunch of presidents get killed by a cat. <laughs> that really happens. Well, let's see. There that's might be true one here. anarchy, baby. Ah, oh, uh, debt joke. One. Debt. Don't stop to count the debt. Deficit. Oh. Debt. Debt. Do 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 debt. I'm a giant gorilla. Paint debt on me. <laughs> Alright, so that's what this level looks like. Um, let's see if I can find where the next boss is. Oh, okay, here's the boss of the uh, the mint. Alright, it's... it's uh, oh, it's... It's the Democratic donkey. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop killing them for a second! Bill Clinton is a Democrat, <laughs> I should note. 
Oh, that's a hat. I thought that was. I thought they were trying to make that Hillary Clinton because of the haircut. And I oh was no, just that's like, not. That's not a Hillary donkey. It's just a regular donkey. Okay, it's just a regular. Like, good. I'm a donkey. This is a, this is a political cartoon. Dead. Okay. I also like how everything explodes when you kill a boss. And yeah, some of these level themes, you only get one level of them, while others, you get three. It makes it makes some of these levels kind of drag on. Who's that guy in the gun? I don't know who some of these dudes are. Alright, so Blab has a conspiracy theory about this game. Uh-huh. <clears throat> That the game does, the ROM never existed, and this game was made by the Kickstarter people from scratch, pretending they had the ROM. You know what? Very plausible. It's, Not gonna it, deny that. It could that. be true. We're going to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Supreme Court Sprint. Socks is gonna change the laws. Okay, for instance, this... This looks like it was added by people after the fact. This level layout. This does not look like part of the original tile set. <laughs> Programmer art. Because everything's just kind of... It has these basic gradients all over it. Mm -hmm. and Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. This feels like just padding, honestly. They took a few existing platforms, drew some trees, and that's it. That's a whole new level. Now, they have mentioned that they want to distribute the unmodified ROM at some point, so hopefully we'll see that. Hopefully. We will cover that if they ever do. But suffice to say, some of this game's elements, they don't mesh, and they honestly just feel really underdeveloped. Which matches the rest of the game, to be fair. Let's skip to the next boss. There we go, here's Jimmy Carter. His teeth are gleaming. That. And that's how he attacks me. Okay, that's bullshit. He should be throwing peanuts. This is garbage. Wait, I am... just you freaking wait. They, Why? they got you covered. They okay, got you they covered. they fucking better have. Keep a close eye on Mr. Carter. He turns into a peanut cocoon and then explodes. There, are you satisfied? <laughs> no. Okay. He should have still been throwing peanuts. <laughs> Agreed. They could have done more with him. Now we're headed to the Pentagon. So are these rats. <laughs> Watch out! Socks, no! Socks also, has... the Pentagon is not that close to the White House, what the hell? It's not! It's- they took artistic liberties with this, alright? Emphasis on artistic. This is a very artistic game. Mm-hmm. By- Ah, the military-industrial complex dog. By this point, they've just resorted to the typical green slime and conveyor belts motif. Okay, okay, no. Why do, Why is there so much green slime in the Pentagon? It was the 90s. They held Double Dare there. That's where that's they filmed right, it. That's right, that's right. Double Dare is a psyop! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're learning so much. If, uh, if Alex and I end up disappeared tomorrow, you know why. We're telling the truth on Twitch TV. Okay, next up is another boss fight, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Now, do you recognize... Yes, it's the... Do you recognize this fella? Here? Yes, I do! It's Ollie North and Trent and Takio! Yep, this would have been the first game to feature Oliver North, but instead, <laughs> it was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is... Oliver North has been in multiple video games! That is so... There he is, shredding, there he is shredding documents and uh, sending them at you. Uh, Oliver North, famous conspirator behind the Iran-Contra affair. Uh, way too much to, yeah, to get you into. Look that up on look Wikipedia up if you're or ask your go to your local library. What's weird, though, is that Oliver North uh, was convicted, but his convictions were overturned because the U.S. government didn't want to declassify certain documents. But instead of being uh, disgraced, he went on to have a very prominent career as a political commentator. Yep, even appeared, as you said, in that uh, Call of Duty game. Mm -hmm. Where he was like, ah, I'm so cool. Yep, it's perfectly fine. All is forgiven, Ollie. <laughs> that was God. Let's try and get him. Yeah, this boss, he threw me for a loop. I was like, oh man, paper shredding machine and everything. Okay, I, try I believe in you, Danny. Yeah, some of the bosses you can trap against the corner. Should have gotten one of those smart paper shredders, Ollie. Spend that Call of Duty money on the good shit. 
Well, this was pre-Call of Duty. Right. <laughs> Pre-COD, as we call it. At this point, I guess he would have been uh, awaiting his prison sentence when this game was scheduled to be released. Oh, wow. he got shredded. He did. He got disintegrated. Ironic justice. All right, here's more Pentagon. This is what the Pentagon looks like. Mostly lots of computers, uh, railways, conveyor belts. You know, you've been there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Lots of loose dogs. You know, it's kind of frustrating me just how much I'm progressing in the game through save states, and that does not match up with the time I spent on this game. It took me like four hours to get to this point, and I can summarize it in <laughs> save states in about two minutes. I just want to say that. Uh, real quick, thank you to Uzi for uh, subscribing. This is their ninth month in a row subscribing. Thank you. Oh, it's Ollie North, and is that uh, Nancy That's, Reagan? That would be Ronald and Nancy Reagan. Ronald. Sorry, not all of them. I'm, I am, Ronald, I am... Ronald is a mindless automaton, and if you try to attack him, you can't kill him because uh, he just takes an unlimited number of hits. What you're supposed to do here is fight off Nancy using these yarn balls. Oh, actual Nancy soundbite. Ah, yes. Nancy Reagan's famous. Ah! <laughs> Just say, ah! <laughs> Here's your presidential fitness award. Ah! <laughs> got her. She melted. Oh my gosh, she melted! She freaking what the melted. fuck? All right, so, so far we've killed Richard Nixon, melted, melted Nancy Reagan, shredded Oliver North. <laughs> Socks is serving justice here, left and right. All right, who's next? Who's next on his hit list? <laughs> when the justice system fails, that's Socks when Socks the Cat in. comes in. Just pussyfooting around. By this point, I was hoping to God the game would end, and it did not end. It goes on for so many more levels after this. First, let me get killed so I can get more lives. Uh, this level, they introduce a couple new enemies. Including this guy here. Uh, him. He kicks. <laughs> Do we fight Walter Mondale in this game? Oh, those are lobbyists. Oh, they're so rich. <laughs> oh, money comes out when you hit them. Oh, that's funny. Try to take a picture of me. There's this guy. He's just throwing sacks of money at you. Oh, it's it's rich Uncle Sam. Throwing away your tax dollars. And there's Uncle Sam's dog. Biting. Biting the ass of America. Watch out for Nixon and Reagan and Washington and birds. <laughs> <laughs> the famous political commentary of birds. That bird is the reincarnated George Washington. Like, I cannot tell a lie. This game sucks ass. <laughs> cannot tell a lie. I want bird seed. <laughs> There's no need to play more of this. Yeah, Next level. Say, let's go on. So, Alex, tell me who this is. He's throwing sticks and logs and stones at me. Is it okay? Okay, it's either it's either uh, Rush Limbaugh. The the theory on Twitter is that it's Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. Yeah, because he was very much pro deforestation at the time. Oh. And in fact, he got in a lot of trouble in the '90s for saying, "If the spotted owl can't survive the forest, the lumber industry, screw it." Wow. Yeah, he was actually. He should be throwing spotted owls then. Yeah, it actually, it's either that or uh, Newt Gingrich, who also was weird. I don't know. It's one or the other. Well, let's see if we can solve our Rush Limbaugh problem. It was a problem I hoped we had left behind in the 90s, but it's okay. Sox is here to fix it. Lincoln did not eat cats. That's... <laughs> he wasn't... That's Alf you're thinking of. Yeah, please don't confuse Abraham Lincoln with the fictional alien sitcom character when I Alf. Saw, when I saw this happen, when I saw this scene happen, I screamed because I knew the next level would be a fucking sewer. And it was. <laughs> I was hoping the game would be over in the last level. Instead, they toss you in the sewer, and the sewer levels are the fucking worst. Literally the worst. They're these huge mazes that just kind of loop around and back and forth, and... Oh, these levels are so long, and they never end. And it's this at this point that they stop throwing extra lives at you all the time, and the game starts to get really tough. 
I would actually consider this a reasonably difficult game if not for these last few levels. They, they push it over the edge. I do not recommend people play these levels. They are just no fun whatsoever. It's not like they have interesting platforming challenges either. It's just more like they throw more enemies at you and there's fewer extra lives. This is a critical analysis of Socks the Cat. <laughs> I've, I have, I've developed these many feelings about Socks the Cat over my six-hour playthrough last night. So yeah, it's the sewer, and it's bad, and then eventually you get to the end of the level, and you face the boss. It's an elephant. Oh, I get it. It's a Republican elephant. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, Socks hits at both sides. He killed the donkey first. I don't like That's that how you know he's bipartisan. <laughs> I don't like that whenever you, you hit them, they... Oh, I hate that animation. Yeah, this elephant is kind of sloppily animated. I'm not a big fan. I wonder if the elephant and donkey were added to the Jesus, game. Uzi. What's going on? Or should have been throwing Oxycontin. Oh, wow. <laughs> Harsh but fair. I'll let that, I'll let that political joke in. Back to Owen. Got him. And then the sewer explodes. No one gets to use the sewer anymore. It explodes a lot. Jesus Christ! Did he glitch out for a second? A little bit. And then there's a second sewer level! <laughs> I think at this point I, like, stopped the game and went to take a shower or something because I, I, I did not oh, want to Oh, that continue. makes a lot of sense. That's why you took a late night shower. Yes. I just wanted to do anything except play this game. <laughs> Overall, I have very mixed feelings about Socks the Cat. It's... I'm glad to see it. I'm glad it's out there. But, oh my god, is it a pain in the ass to play a lot of the time. Especially this level. This level is the worst, because it's nothing but these obstacles that are really difficult to dodge. Uh, it's here you find out that Socks' hitbox is actually very large. It extends in front of him and behind him by several pixels. And uh, you need to take that into account in order to not take a ton of damage. A question uh, from chat. Is there a graveyard level? <laughs> Unfortunately, no graveyard level. That sucks. I want to go to the <laughs> National Cemetery, Arlington, and just fuck it up as a cat. <laughs> just be absolutely disgusting. Just piss everyone off. Okay. Yeah, so you get out of the sewers. Great. <laughs> it looks really good, guys. It's, it's fine. No one's gonna get to this point. Okay, Rose Garden. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. It's a Rose Garden. That's pretty. At this point in the game, I figured there was no end in sight. I had committed my entire life to playing nothing but this game for the rest of my days. There would just be endless levels to this game. I would never beat it. I would never have to play another game. Luckily, as it turns out, this is the final level. And there's a boss at the end of this level. Can you predict who the final boss is? I can, but I'm not going to say it. So Everyone that way get your I... guesses in. Okay, everybody, chat. Who do you think would be the final boss of Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill? I think, well, I want to keep it a secret because I think I know who it's going to be. Wow. All right, uh, this was before the Monica scandal, so... <laughs> yeah, that was before any of that was known. Let's see. Uh, we got a few people saying Al Gore. Uh, Codeman says the Clintons. Uh, Tralala says Shadow Socks. I like that. Ooh. Blab says Bob Dole. And Wall of Beef, bless you, says an actual hill. <laughs> He's gonna rock that hill. Yaddle says Ken Starr, but again, this was before the Lewinsky... Close to the time frame. Yeah, it's close, but it was before. There's was... a lot of candidates, a lot of people Socks could take down at the end of the game. Mm, I... uh, the, the Clintons would be interesting, just having a turn at the end, like Bill Clinton pulls out a gun or something. Oh, there's Supreme Court justices. I think it's going to be either Hillary Clinton, which would be weird, but... That would be amazing, but weird. <laughs> or Al Gore. Or... Or Newt Gingrich. Mm. I think it's going to be Newt Gingrich. All good guesses, but as it turns out... Space Dumpster says Scalia. God, I wish. Scalia would be an amazing final Mecca boss. Mecca George Washington says <laughs> Jet Scarf. Uh... Well, I'm about to reveal it. The final boss of Socks the Cat, Rocks the Hill... <laughs> Tipper, I wish! ...is... George Bush. Yes! Okay, who said that? Who said George... Okay, that would be, uh, he, 
Hinarf, Tina Fred. Sorry if I'm I'm butchering that. Apologies. And it's George Herbert Walker Bush throwing his least favorite food, broccoli. Got it. He is famous for not uh, liking. Crungo got it too. Oh, nice. Good guesses. Good guesses. Good. So your final act as Socks the Cat is to murder the hell out of George H. W. Bush. Bam! And then we blow up the White House. <laughs> The end! We did it! Here comes the ending. <laughs> no one's gonna live in this house anymore. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's Chelsea. And she's playing the sax, too. That's right. They all can play the saxophone. Even socks. Bill Clinton, Chelsea Clinton, and Sox the Cat celebrate in the Oval Office as they've rid the world of the rats. The Fat Man?! Yep, George the Fat Man Sanger apparently worked on this, in ah! addition to Total Recall and a million other games that we've played. I almost fucking threw my drink. <laughs> God, I wish Jeb was super boss. Oh, if Black only. Him to death. This is a janky game, but boy am I glad it's out there. It's, it's a part of American history. It really is. And know. it's as bizarre as I was hoping. Uh, the thing is, I don't know just how much of it is genuine and how much was made after the fact. That remains to be seen. But that socks the cat, rocks the hill, and socks is taking a nap. The end.